We made tacos and corn, slow bar dope. Wanna sit on that side? Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> to this. We're gonna let you know how delicious this is. The first night was really great. After we made tacos, we had a fire and went to bed. The weather was awesome and cooperated. It only sprinkled a little bit. The site was really nice. It was on the water. And so we basically had a private beach. We fished all day the second day. At the end of the day, Jason got kind of sunburned, but it was really fun. We fished with some squid that we found at a local bait shop. Right after this, my friend Jolie, the head naturalist at the park, rode up on her four-wheeler yeah? with a surprise. Okay. That's cool. The ampullae of Lorenzini, so if you feel it, it's like gel. So that senses like electrical currents in the water, so that's part of how sharks like sense fish and stuff in the water. Cool. So there's another species that does have black tips when it's young that's not a black tip, but it doesn't have black tips when it's older. So like fades yeah. away. Yeah. Trevor. Yeah. Trevor. Jamie. Jamie. Oh. I'm gonna hug you. Yeah. I'm <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Okie dokie, see ya. Our second campsite at the park wasn't as private, but it was just as beautiful. It was on a mini bluff looking over the river, and we could see the channel from the campsite as well, and had a gorgeous view of the sunset. While the sun was setting, we could also see a large storm approaching. The wind was pretty rough. The tent did all right for a while, but then we had to patch up a spot. My tent is pretty old, so it was to be expected. We had a fun time hiding away from the storm and eating snacks in the tent. So we are inside the tent. Jason is reading his Kindle. Kind of. We have hummus and some naan. Eventually the storm passed, we made a fire, and afterwards there was an awesome show of heat lightning. Thank you for watching The Unrealistic Life, and we'll see you in our next adventure.